Welcome guys, for a long time we've been asking, where are the new battle royales? And to answer that question, let me introduce to you Grit Battle Royale, set in a fantasy world inspired by the Old West. The game is still in an extremely early phase, which means that updates are coming so fast I can barely keep up, and it's also very likely that things in this video will already have changed by the time you watch it. This game is having a public playtest today, Saturday and Sunday, and will run ongoing beta tests on a regular basis coming out of this weekend. Join the playtest on Steam and be one of the first to try out this new game. I have been involved with Grid behind the scenes for about a year, giving feedback on game features and gun mechanics. And as part of my partnership with the developers, I am now also bringing you this video, which will teach you some of the basics to start owning in Grid. In Grit, you'll be riding horses through old western towns, drinking spirits to stay boosted, and the weapons are inspired by old western guns. There are about 22 weapons in the game, and the guns are projectile based, meaning that there is bullet drop, and hitting moving targets will require you to lead your shots. This is important to remember when trying to shoot somebody off their horse. The guns are divided into four main categories, handguns, shotguns, rifles, and snipers. Handguns are great all-round weapons, but can often fall short in close quarters compared to shotguns, and won't be a good choice against snipers on long range. There are exceptions to these rules though, for example the duster is a handgun with devastating close quarters power, with its fan fire mode. Shotguns are deadly close range weapons and especially a gun like the Alpine that has the ability to fire both shells instantly can be a very dangerous thing to meet in a close quarters fight. Rifles are great all round weapons too, but will depending on the rifle you have be great for different things. The Cavalier is currently my favorite gun in the game as it will allow super quick firing which is as good as full auto. I love using this gun as my main weapon choice together with the sniper. Snipers are, as you would expect, long range beasts, and some of them will come with a nice scope to better enable long range combat. And hitting headshots in this game is also very satisfying. In this situation, I'm using the Ace Sharps Brass, which currently is the only sniper that can one shot an enemy wearing a hat. Yep, hats reduce damage by around 40%. You will drop your hat when headshot though, but will be able to pick it up again to regain protection. Guns come in different rarities and suits, named after playing cards. A 10 is a common grey weapon, which might do less damage, have fewer bullets in a magazine, and never any scopes. A jack is uncommon, queen is rare, king is epic, and ace is legendary, which will have the best stats and scopes. But that's not all, a very unique key feature in this game lies in the suits of the different weapons and the combination of them. Combining two diamonds will make your shots temporarily mark the enemy that you just hit, and getting two hearts will enable faster healing, something that can be very important if you're stuck in a storm trying to survive, as in this example where the only reason I survived was having two hearts in my build. You can also match up four of the same suit to give you even more powerful perks, such as four hearts that will enable health regeneration on kills and knocks and give the triage perk to your entire team. It is therefore often not the best choice to simply go for a weapon of higher rarity, but instead to make sure you combine weapon suits to best complement your playstyle and make sure to get the perks your team needs. This is made easier by being able to see which suits your teammates are using in the UI. My favorite combination is having two diamonds and two hearts. I love the faster healing of the hearts as I feel like it helps my aggressive playstyle, and I love the spotter feature of the two diamonds, which honestly might be a bit too strong now, but I know the devs are monitoring these perks very closely. Transportation in Grid is a combination of trains and horses, and especially the horses are extremely important in Grid. You will need them to travel the map quickly, just like you will need vehicles in other battle royales. And you will also be doing a lot of shooting from the horse, such as engaging in horse-to-horse -horse combat. But not all horses are the same. There are currently three types of horses in the game. The white horse is the fastest, but also has the least health. The black one is sturdier and can take more damage, but is also the slowest. 
and the brown one is just in between. Be careful while you park your horse though, because if it gets shot, it will run away. The black horse will require two hits before it starts moving though. One of my favorite features about the horses is your ability to put items on them, which is super useful when passing items between you and a teammate while you are both on the horse. The trains add a lot of western atmosphere, but they aren't just there for that reason. You can use them to travel around and the developers do have a lot of plans on how to make them useful. Currently, don't take any damage from the storm while on a train or running next to them with your horse. And you will also have the ability to switch tracks by shooting track shifters. The game's healing system is very similar to that I know from PUBG, as you have direct big heals, bandages and boosts. If you get killed while in a group, you will get knocked and a teammate can bring you back up. But should you get finished, the game is not over yet. If early enough in the game, you'll be facing the final showdown. A one versus one Gulag type battle where the victor gets a second chance and will be able to join their teammates again. Overall, Grid feels like a game that will offer intense close quarters combat as well as the pleasure of hitting long range snipes. It is a really cool unique feature to be able to build different weapon suits and combine the best loadout not only for yourself but also for your squad. The map already offers a lot of different locations that will require you to use different strategies and there is plenty of room for exploration. It is important to remember that this is still a game in a very early state. Do not expect a finished game here. There will be plenty of bugs and plenty of unfinished features. Instead, this is an opportunity to join the first ever public playtest, which means that this is also the first time they let in a large amount of players on their servers and so anything can happen. Also consider to be part of the game's development by sharing your improvement ideas on their Discord. The developers are quite ambitious and they do have a lot of plans and ideas for the game going forward. Even giant mechanical spiders could come to the game at some time. So for now, go sign up for the upcoming playtest on Steam. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will find this information helpful when you jump into Great Battle Royale. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.